we dry the canal using our paper point preferably of the same size as our last file right till the working length you can see how the paper point bends when it is wet once the canal is clean dry it is ready for sealer placement sealer is placed in the tooth using lentula spiral that is my preferred way of and you can see the consistency of the sealer rich creamy paste anything which is more viscous will not flow and anything which is more fluidy will not flow again so we need to have the right consistency of sealer if anything is more fluid like it will not flow properly and if it is more viscous then also it will not flow properly at low speed the lentula is rotated keeping sure that it is 1 to 2 mm short of your working length so that the sealer doesn't extrudes outside the movement is circumferential as well as up and down so that all sealer gets spread evenly in the canal next comes our master cone whose size we had verified at the time of master cone radiograph and at the same time we had checked for the tuck back which we have to get for exact fit of our cone we take it in the canal we place it and we push it right till working length and check the fit again we try to check the fit of the cone whether it is loose or it is tight if it is tight we don't disturb it any further once the cone is placed we check for spaces around it by using our spreaders if these spreaders go inside easily that means there are empty spaces which need to be filled by accessory cones which are smaller in size and corresponding to same size as our spreader but if your spreader is not going in as you can see in this video that means your cone has taken the space completely we try with higher sizes and then we try with smaller sizes as well making sure that there is no empty space around our cone because these empty spaces will be foci of infection in the later time so even if you are doing a single cone technique make sure there are no empty spaces around and wherever you find empty spaces always try to push accessory cones in them in this video we don't have any empty space around as you can see there are no spreaders going inside the next part is cutting this extra gp out we take a fine scissor for it to cut the excess which is hanging outside the chamber it should be done in such a way that your gp doesn't gets pulled out otherwise the whole process gets repeated the next part is to seal the orifice with a heated instrument the most popular method is to take a heated ball varnisher and sear the gp in the orifice 